Oh, I just spotted one, guys. He was uh, just hiding under that log right there, just as I came over the hill. A lot of times they'll just kind of stay there, but this one didn't. But uh, he just kind of lopped along. So if I circle back, uh, there's a big giant blow down here. Got a beautiful longbow made by Ray, Riverbend Longbows, custom built. It's actually a really good time to slow things down and let that hair settle back in and relax. Also got myself a primitive arrow made by Jay Valenti. It's got a stone tip on there. It's got feather fletching, totally primitive. We're ready to go into the foray. Well, the only way to take you guys along is with the GoPro. We're going in the thick, thick, nasty stuff up here. All right, how's that look? Pretty good. Matt. He scooched back over that way. I think he went back to the, I don't know, maybe back to his original spot. All right guys, he's gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's get set on him. He's not gonna move. Wait for it. Oh, shoot, I hit him in the butt. Yeah, check my arrow. Yeah, I hit him. I definitely hit him, but I hit him in the butt. So he's probably gonna be injured and to keep on him. All right, guys, he's definitely got in here. Guys, let's get the sneak up on him. Let me get nice and close. He's gotta be in here somewhere. You guys see him? We got him on camera. broke that arrow. That's not good. Whew. Try to find that arrow tip. You can see the, we got him here right in the butt first. And then we shot him right in the right spot. We lost the arrow tip. Where'd the arrow tip go in here? Gotta be careful, these things are really sharp. Of course, that's the downfall of using primitive tools is very fragile compared to modern tools. Well, I shouldn't say that. They're not all completely fragile compared to modern tools. Shoot, we lost that. We lost that arrow tip. Got ourselves a nice snowshoe hair. A little bit of work. All right, let's get the easy way out of here. It's definitely through here. Oh, bushwhack all the way through up that spot there. Well, there we go guys, there's a snowshoe here for the pot. Uh, I could cook it up here and eat it, but I have plans to meet up with Jeremy and it never feels right to eat uh, anything in the woods by yourself. I really think it's a communal thing. So Jeremy's gonna meet up with me, cook this up on the fire. Uh, we won't throw it in a pot, we won't stew it. We're gonna do it up properly, so. Yeah, we're gonna make a good meal of this. We'll roast it. We'll roast it over the fire, see what it tastes like. See if we can actually make it taste right they make it all chewy and whatnot.
like something's been busy here, but I don't think it's a rabbit. It's uh, probably a red squirrel, because I can hear it chattering all over the place. It does not like me being here. You can see all the shavings uh, it's been working away at. I think this is probably from a uh, spruce tree. It's eating the spruce seeds, I would guess. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell what this stuff is. Do you think it's maybe a cedar tree? Because there's some cedar sitting around here. So maybe you guys can ID this. It's either spruce or cedar, I guess. All right, we got our rabbit all cleaned up here. What we're gonna do is kind of spread it out. And we're gonna try to smoke it on the fire slowly and get it cooked up. It's got a birch, birch tree. It's kind of split in the middle. And I'm just going to kind of spread it out here and um, use some snare wire. We're just gonna attach the legs and arms to the branches. So we can make ourselves a slow cooked hair. We'll see how this turns out. I don't know if it's gonna turn out great, but we'll see. Pretty simple way to cook. Um, obviously you can do without the snare wire, but if there's an easier way, you might as well take it, right? Just gonna spread this out and lash it all together. And then we don't have to worry about it falling off and we can just let nature run its course while we work on the shelter, get it all together, kind of at the point where we're just doing finishing touches on it right now. Temperature's dropping and the rain is snowing. Thankfully, we got the roof on the shack. We can enjoy a delicious feast of wild caught wild rabbit. Smells like it's okay ish. Yeah. I don't know. Okay ish. Okay ish. I can't even get that's, this undone. That's how I like my wild food. <laughs> Done ish? Done ish. Okay ish. Good ish. Yeah, I think you're both gonna get that. Done ish, good ish. Might be a little red on the inside, but you like smoked rabbit, right? I, I don't know. You don't not even shot it? Not, not smoked rabbit. Did you like it like uncooked in the middle? No. 
Oh, does that look like it's uncooked in the middle? Yeah. Just say no. No. Say, say it looks perfectly done. No, it looks good. Because it's probably going to need a couple more hours on the fire and we don't have a couple more hours on the fire. No, it's got good flavor. It's got good flavor, it's chewy. And it's still juicy inside. It's almost like we didn't have time to make a shelter and cook our hair at the same time. Yeah. I mean... Can't multitask. It's pretty good. Here, have a have a chew of the flank. The bacon? The bacon. The hair bacon? Yeah. Oh, it tastes like rabbit. Yep. Does that look done to you guys? It's pretty done. Pretty done-ish. I think it's time kind of one of those things you have to start like first thing and kind of let it sit and go for a long time. Yeah. It's got good flavor. It's not your not your favorite, is it? Primitive style hair? It's more of a stew animal. Yeah. It's more of a braising slow cooking critter. Well that part's good. But you know what? The flavor is really good on it. Yeah. I'll leave it with smoke. You know what? Here. I'm gonna get you a good piece. Oh a back strap. Look at that one. Alright. That one's like that was perfectly done. Perfectly done. There's a reason we stew our hairs, right? Chewiness. Yeah. I mean, it can be done. We can yeah. definitely eat it. But it's not got that fat that you want. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe to Jeremy or don't. One Wild Crafter. Link will be down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.